One of the big announcements from IFA uh, was Panasonic has gotten into the OLED Ultra HD TV game, making LG not the only kid in the block on the block anymore, which is pretty exciting, don't you think? I do, although uh, I will say that if Panasonic does one thing really well, it's their focus on 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 perfecting image quality with any display technology that they work with. They did the, an amazing job with their plasma screens, and their, even their LCDs have been highly regarded. And seeing them move into something that literally is a good plasma replacement, uh, like the next gen of that 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 video file style display system, that encourages me a lot. And I'm glad to see there is yet another option out there. I, I will say though, I had people reporting to me that the panels that they're using in the Panasonic OLEDs are actually LG panels. So I'd like to get confirmation on that one way or another. These people seemed very certain of that fact. So I have not confirmed that for myself, but that is something I'd like to find out. But and regardless, I'll bet you that's uh, I bet you that's going to be difficult to confirm because I'll bet neither of the companies are going to, you know, really readily r reveal that. Now I reported a I don't know a couple months oh no last year even that LG there was a rumor that LG Display, which is separate from LG Electronics, the company that actually sells TVs, that LG Display, which makes raw panels, was in talks with Panasonic to supply them with OLED uh, panels. Um, and so it seems a good bet to assume that that's what's happening. But man, oh man, you go to a PR place and you say, where do you get your panels from some company? Oh. They won't. They won't tell you. <laughs> no. I would, I would like to bring my jeweler's loop with me, though, as soon as I can see one of those Panasonic OLEDs in person to see if yes. it has that RGBW. Uh, if it right. has the white subpixel, that would lend a little more credence, I think, to it being an LG panel. But regardless, yeah. as, long as, as long as that picture performance is there and if they can step up above everyone else and, and create imagery that, that really highlights the power of, of organic light-emitting diode technology, mm -hmm. I, I, I could care less where that panel comes from. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just something I want to see out in the marketplace, and I want to I want to have more options at better pricing. Exactly. We have a picture of the Panasonic OLED from IFA. Just want to show people. Uh, it's the uh, CZ950. There it is. Um, some people are kind of complaining about the stand. I personally don't care about the stand or you know the much about the the industrial design, so to speak. But the the big news here in terms of the industrial design is that this TV is curved. Uh, as all the virtually all, not all actually now, there's some other news to talk about in a bit, but most of the LG OLEDs are curved. Certainly most of the uh, Samsung LED LCD TVs are curved. Uh, and this new Panasonic one is too. And maybe be, and maybe that lends credence to the idea that it, that it ultimately came from LG.